Always fogging up on me. Fogging up on me. Oh my, trust me, I haven't I haven't washed mine. I myself have not washed mine in probably a year. But what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. A uh, late start to the video today, but I wanna, so let, let me break this down for you. Dro I dropped Christina off at the gym. I pulled behind this, behind the dicks. You guys can see the sign right there. I pulled behind the dicks. I'm actually watching Nelk Boys on YouTube, trying to meet up with a buddy of mine to go film later on. And these guys roll up on me. Uh, what's, uh, let's, what, what's your name, what's your name? My name's Michael. Michael, Alex. Roman, Alex, um, they said that they had seen the Instagram before, which is pretty awesome. Y'all watch YouTube videos? Uh, I gotta yeah, go on now. Yeah, y'all definitely go go check out the channel. I'm on a um, 365-day well, journey. I think today's 129 or something like that. Let's 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 take a look though. Before obviously they've seen my truck, so let's uh, let's take a look. And first of all, it's a gasser, so I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, I'm obviously a, a gas fan myself, but. Um, huge shout out to the boys for, for pulling up on me today. Is that y'all? I, I want you to know y'all made my day today. Absolutely made my day because I was gonna try and meet up with a friend of mine and just kind of film and uh, and chill for a little bit until she gets done at the gym. But uh, y'all pulled up and, and saved the video today. So huge shout out to them. We're, we're just gonna see how the day goes. This is a, a great start to the video, even though the day was going kind of eh. But um, huge shout out to the boys for coming through. Oh damn, what's going on? Nice to meet you. Yes sir. I just, first of all, I just got the perfect shot of you like rolling in. It was like real blurry. They're, they're, they're gonna hear me talking about this once I just saw it. It was like real blurry. And then once you finally started coming around this way, it like, it like focused, oh, it was, it was beautiful. Holy, first of all, holy shit. Uh, I absolutely love this. Is this, this has been done recently, all this? Yeah, I finished it uh, last year. Damn. The end of I, last year. I wanna tell, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous of the red. You have no idea. Oh man, you yeah. have no idea how much tedious work all this took. Dang, I mean, that looks so good though. I had options, you know, like, do I do the control arms? Do I not? Do I do the torsion bars? Do I not? The lifts is already illusion cherry. Do I do the leaf springs? Do I do the brakes? Do I do the... I, I can tell that having a having a sh I would consider this almost show truck at this point because all the just it's above and beyond what your what your normal person would do and I can tell it's it's got to be just so difficult it's trying to keep it clean so oh, we'll like there it, it's you gotta understand this thing took like eight months Dang. Right? I, I did it from the frame yeah, the pa painted axles and the the rear diff cover, leaf springs, blocks, the the bottom bracket to the uh, to the U bolts. I mean, every bit of this. Polished drive shaft. I mean, we went all out. You know. Damn. So the original plan was like, hey, let's get it done for Daytona. Uh huh. So of this year. Last. Year. So I was running out of time getting ready for Daytona. So then it got moved back to Rodney. <laughs> and then Rod Run came and passed, and I was like, let's just get this thing out of the garage, let's get it together, we'll finish it up, you know. And I mean, like I said, these all this stuff, I mean, obviously, I need different headlights, bumpers. So, my plan for the winter bodyguard bumpers, and uh, you know, new headlights, tail lights, a different grill, powder the backs of the wheels different tires put new inner fenders on have it wrap take all these decals off when you when you pulled up with the decal because I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest when you the, the the Instagram doesn't do this truck justice like one bit you know you don't really notice the decals on Instagram all of the little like you said tedious work you definitely don't really get to just get the full grasp of it on Instagram which is why I'm so happy to be able to film a lot of this stuff and see it in person first of all but also bring it to you guys and I'm gonna be honest when I when I saw him roll up with the decals on the, on the side I'm like damn this this is real like this he don't play no games so I, I absolutely love this truck we'll do a little more in-depth walk around in just a minute but uh 
please enjoy this uh, beautiful montage of this amazing truck. Y'all, y'all really don't understand how beautiful, I know his truck is dirty right now, but y'all don't understand how beautiful that, this color is of that, of that powder coat. Y'all, y'all don't understand. And I've, I've always been curious, having powder coated leaf springs, cause this is something I want to do at some point, powder coated leaf springs, does the powder coat rub off in between the leaf springs? It's not supposed to. As they, as they move and flex up and down? You would assume they do. You would assume it would, you know, but it's not supposed to. Look at that color. It's it's gonna be hard to pick up on camera, but that color has got so much flake in it. And you said this is illusion red? Illusion cherry. Illusion cherry. Yeah. Dang, that looks so good. Can y'all see the uh I don't know if y'all can see the the flake in that. There you go, you can see it a little bit. That looks so good. 2005 Chevy Duramax with the, uh, this is set at nine inches? No, it's actually set at seven. Set at seven? He's all the way down. Okay, so it's just the true seven inch McGoy's lift kit? Seven inch true. That looks so good. I love this red. Y'all Y'all really don't understand it. I've said it a hundred times, but this is, uh, you guys know I, I really want to do something a little more like brighter red, but this is almost exactly what I want to go with. And little fun fact, so if any of y'all know Little Jake on Instagram, um, Little Jake is a, a pretty a pretty fairly known individual with a big Duramax, almost identical to this one. And I, when he pulled up, that's the truck that came to mind and come to find out he bought this lift kit from him in Wisconsin, which is insane like that that's so funny to me because i know exactly what truck he's talking about and i'd seen that he was he was trying to sell it at some point so um little jake i know you probably don't watch my videos you probably don't even know who i am but uh, if you're watching this i i found your lift kit y'all go follow murder max on instagram such a cool dude such a cool dude real real humble guy well um i think me and him are gonna meet up before the truck meet this friday so y'all make sure to go follow him on instagram and go show some love to his page. So one of the first one of the first nights I moved to Atlanta, we actually did the very first restaurant review at this Willie's right now, and it's pretty cool because I'm back here like almost a year later, and I get to end the video off here. I'm grabbing me and Christina something to eat. I hope you guys enjoyed the content today. Smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Let's get this bread. Baby, friend, baby. That's what I'm talking about.